Uh, let's see, learning Moon Knight Sonata Movement 3, struggling with the speed but making progress. Yeah, that, that's a tough one to get up to tempo. I would say really focus a lot on keeping your wrist relaxed and almost making like circles with your wrist as you're doing, just as a general rule with arpeggios. Because it's very easy when you're doing these types of arpeggios to tighten up. So you want to really, almost like when you're practicing it slow, you almost want to exaggerate this motion see it's like it's like a full arm thing because that motion will get minimized as you speed up but you don't you don't want to treat it like that sort of thing you know you'll you'll limit your speed and you'll you know tense up and that could cause injury down the road so it's all that sort of thing even sections like this it's all within the wrist. The wrist is a huge component to piano playing, man. Just a slight, a slight change in mindset to the wrist. Even when you're doing things like trills, you know, it's it's not just the fingers that are working like pistons, right? It's also it's also the rotation of your wrist that works in conjunction with your fingers. And that motion gets very minimized as you speed up. So I'm always a big advocate of when you're practicing slowly to exaggerate certain motions, you know. <laughs> 